One of the most frequent questions we get asked is how do I anchor my solar system? In this video, we'll go through the most common ways to anchor a solar set system. A solar array like this catches a lot of wind and must be securely anchored to the ground in order to protect from wind damage. All of the methods that we'll go over in this video are rated for over 100 mile per hour winds. If your county has special wind requirements, some of these anchoring methods can be made to reach ratings of over 140 miles per hour. There are five different standard ways that we anchor our solar systems. Let's start with option one, mounting the system to a concrete curve. While this is one of the cleanest looking options, it sometimes isn't the most economical and usually requires a concrete contractor to perform the work. The rear rail sits on a 24 inch deep by 24 inch wide concrete curve and the front rail sits on a smaller curve, in this case, 24 inches wide and six inches deep. Once the concrete is cured, the solar system is anchored down using standard concrete anchor bolts. Option two uses dirt or gravel to weigh the system down. This method is a preferred anchoring method for solar set because it is easy to install and has no ground penetrations like some of the other options. To install this system, galvanized bridge decking is installed between the bottom beams against the ground. End caps are installed on the ends of the solar set frame. These components create a large tray that gravel can be piled into. In order to have an adequate wind rating using this method, the dirt that is piled into the tray must be at least 80 pounds per cubic foot, or more if the county you live in has special wind ratings and requirements. Option three, earth anchors are often used to anchor mobile homes, campers, billboards, and other things prone to high wind loads. They are another preferred anchoring method for solar set if the ground type is right. Different types of anchors can be used in different types of soils. Driving a three or four foot stake into the ground is a good basic test to help determine if earth anchors are a good fit for your location. A pull test needs to be done on an anchor in order to determine the size, type, and quantity of anchors needed. The pull test should be performed at the site where the system is going to be placed. When earth anchors are used in suitable locations, they are one of the cleanest solutions and allow for the system to be easily moved to a different location in the future. Option four uses preformed concrete blocks stacked on the back rail of the solar system. There are a variety of sizes these preformed concrete blocks come in. Almost any concrete ready mix will have them available to purchase at low cost. The blocks need to be able to fit in between the A-frames of a solar set system and be a minimum of 3,100 pounds each. Steel brackets must be installed in order to keep the blocks centered and supported on the rear beam. It is the most economical if anchors are not an option. Option five uses prefabricated steel trays. These are meant to be moved into place easily by hand then filled with concrete once in place. There are several different sizes and styles of these prefabricated concrete trays. There is no need for rebar and no need to hire a concrete contractor. Just fill them up with concrete and level it off. They are built with hooks in the top, so these trays are another great option if the system might be moved sometime in the future. So what anchoring method works best for you? Give us a call and we'll help you select the best size and type of system for your application.